Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome back to the 1975 Cricket World Cup in England, being played on Brawlhalla Cricket on PlayStation. The second quarter final between New Zealand and India took place today at Leeds. Um, a fascinating encounter between two evenly matched sides. We said that this would be a close game, and a close game it turned out to be, in my opinion. That is an unbelievable game of cricket. Pulsating, twists and turns, up there with a Pakistan-West Indies game in terms of drama. In my opinion, the second best game of the competition between two brilliantly even matched teams. India redeeming themselves on the same ground where they were so bad three days ago against England. Um, New Zealand won the toss, selected to bowl first in overcast conditions on a damp pitch. India, well... They were all out of the final ball of the innings for 230. But that doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, look at that. New Zealand bowlers started running riot. They were 105 for 6 at one stage. But Abid Ali was 70 off 103 deliveries. Got them up to a respectable 230 all out. I mean, 12 for um, Sunil Gavaskar. 24 for Farouk Engineer. 37 for... Um, On human gay wad, two for Ganupa Vishnath, nine for Bidash Patel, thirteen for Enkab Solka, sixteen for Mudan Lal, four for Mahinda um, Armanath, twenty six not out, a very valuable innings of thirty four balls from um, the captain Siri Venkakaran and Bitchy and Betty was run out for seven off the final ball of the innings. But bowling figures, very tidy for the New Zealanders. Um, two for 48 for Richard Hadley. Ten wickets in the tournament now. Two for 32 for the leading wicket taker. Dow Hadley had now got 16 wickets in just six matches. No wicket for um, Richard Collange, but at least he's going to get whacked for 66 runs this time. Two for 48 for um, Edley Hallerf. He's been the best spinner in the tournament. 12 wickets in the tournament now for him. And 3 for 49 for Brian Keckney, who got the wall at last. He struggled in this tournament at times. But the response from New Zealand is absolutely extraordinary. And there's one man who's having the tournament of his life and will see his average and run scoring in a moment. I mean, that middle order stuttered again. 17 for John Morrison. 9 for... Jeff Howarth, 1 for John Parker, 30 for Brian Hastings, 14 for Ken Wadsworth, a first ball duck for Richard Hadley. I mean, look at that collapse at one stage of 127 for three in cruising. They lost three wickets in 24 balls, balls, balls for just 18 runs and 145 for six. India were right in the game and had a massive chance. And then Dal Hadley, he's had the tournament of his life at the moment. He hit 31 of 42 deliveries. He was the man that stayed with Glenn Turner. His third not out of the tournament. His third century of this World Cup. 116 of 140 balls. In my opinion, the best one-day innings I have ever seen under the most intense pressure. He's got over 500 runs in the tournament. Player of the tournament, I think, is almost... Dusted. I think he is certain to win player of the tournament. We'll have a look at his statistics and I'm going to back it up. 231 for six for final outcome. They did everything, India. They threw everything. Enkav Solka, 16 for naught. 35 for one for Abid Ali. He's had an outstanding match. 11 wickets in the tournament he ends up with. We'll have a look at his performance. Mona Lyles, two wickets and two balls. Gave them hope, but they... Glenn Turner just took the game away from them, and so did um, Dal Hadley. He was expensive, two for 60. For the first time in this tournament, Mohinder Armanath, wicketless. That was probably the crucial point. He usually takes wicket, the odd wicket there and then. 40 for naught. 39 for 1 for Shiri Venkakaran. 1 for 28 for Bisham Bedi, who bowled superbly. But India just fell short. But they certainly redeemed themselves after their dismal performance against England on the same ground three days earlier. Match summary in a breathless quarter final, the second best match of the tournament, and it, it just as dramatic. New Zealand won the toss on a damp pitch in overcast conditions. Bold first, 
We've got India out for 230. New Zealand, 231 for six. They won by four wickets with only three balls remaining. An absolute thriller at Leeds. Man of the match is third man of the match performance in this tournament. Glenn Turner's 116 of 140 deliveries. In my opinion, the best innings of the tournament and the best innings I have ever seen under the most intense pressure. This is what it means now. New Zealand have a rematch against the West Indies. New Zealand have a rematch with the West Indies in about five or six days' time. Tomorrow's match, Pakistan versus Australia. If that is as good as today's match, we are in for something really special. But it's the West Indies versus New Zealand in the first semi-final. Um, save the game. We've already saved the game. So, again, going to have a look at the averages. We're going to have a look at the Indian averages at, in this tournament. And then we're going to have a look at the New Zealand averages. It is extraordinary. Well, his average hasn't gone up as much. But in the end, Farouk Engineer. Farouk Engineer ends 138 runs in four innings at an average of 46. Not overly bad, but obviously not um, great. He's had an okay tournament. He's had a very good tournament behind the stumps. He, in my opinion, along with Derek Murray he, and... Um, Rod Marsh are the two, be are three of the best wicket keepers in the tournament. Make no mistake about it. He's had a superb tournament. Abid Ali, seventeen not out today. I mean, he's had a bit blurry at the moment. He's had an exceptional tournament. Thirty-three with a bat and nineteen with a ball. He's had a very good tournament, and he's a massive positive to take away from this. Would he be back for another World Cup in four years' time in Sri Lanka? I'm not too sure. Ninety-nine runs in three innings at an average of thirty-three. He is 70 today, really saved India in this match. 11 wickets in six matches, an average of 19. He's had a fantastic tournament, Abid Ali, and he's a major, major plus point in this World Cup for India. New Zealand, a third not out for Glenn Turner. His average is now 167, three not outs, and three centuries in the tournament, and 150. 503 runs. I do not see him... Not winning player of the tournament. He is almost certainly going to score 500 runs in a tournament where the ball has probably dominated more with a bat. Where we've seen so many teams get bowled out for about 150 to 130. Associate members have struggled. But he has got 172, 130, 172 not out against Kenya. Um, 130 against Rebel South African 11. A 68 against um, the United Arab Emirates. Not out, and now 116 not out against India in a quarter final. He is going to be so key for New Zealand against the West Indies. Dale Hadley, that batting average has gone up even more now. He's hit 31. He's hit 31 off 34 deliveries. His second not out, 59 average with a bat. Although he ain't really um, been put in for his batting. His average with the ball's actually gone up from 10 to 11. So he's averaging 11 with the ball now. But 16 wickets in six matches. He's extended his, um, his um, run at the top of the um, leading wicket takers in this tournament. He's three ahead of Brendan Julian now. That, in my opinion, is one of the best games of one-day cricket you are going to see. It rivals the Pakistan-West Indies match in terms of drama and pulsating effort. India... Certainly redeemed themselves after their awful performance against England. Um, Abid Ali, a massive plus in this tournament. I'm just going to check his age. He is 34 years old, old in September. Um, I don't think he'll play again in the tournament. I don't think he'll play. He probably won't play. Again, for India, he is considering international retirement, but he has had a wonderful tournament. He won't be playing. I'm almost certain he won't be playing in Sri Lanka in four years' time, but he is a massive plus point. India have really redeemed themselves. At 145 for six, New Zealand were on the brink, but Glenn Turner is such a crucial wicket for the opposition to get, and he got 116 not out. His third not out of the competition, and his average is unreal, and 500 runs in the competition. I think we can safely say that... Glenn Turner is going to be the first ever player of the tournament. Tomorrow's match, Pakistan versus Australia. That's another tough match to call. Pakistan didn't play well against Rebel South African 11 and were lucky to win that match. Australia, 
weren't convincing against Holland with a bat. They only hit 235 for nine against a very good Dutch side, but their bowlers have been outstanding the last few games. Um, so that will be an interesting scenario tomorrow. This is all from me, Lawrence Howard. Thank you for watching, and I'll give you a match report of the third quarter final between Pakistan v Australia tomorrow. Until then, for me, Lawrence Howard, it's goodbye from me, and goodbye from everyone here at the 1975 Cricket World Cup here in England. Bye-bye.